Alright, welcome to another standard daily event. Um, so today, I, today I'm playing a deck, and I'm just warning you, this isn't a real deck of magic cards. Like, these cards are real, they exist, but this deck isn't real. Um, today I'm playing a Bruna Light of Alabaster combo. Um, this deck is completely off the wall. Uh, I had a th an idea for a Bruna deck a while ago, like as soon as uh, Innistrad came out. I was like, well, you just play like Self Mill, or not as Innistrad, as soon as a... Uh, Absent or stores like you just fill up your graveyard and you embrace rights and get back Bruna, but there wasn't anything to get with it. And then Return of Ravnica came. You had Ethereal Armor and you had a lot of you had, uh, Spectral Flight and other things you can get with it. And now that we're almost at the end of the Type Two, where everything's there's only one set left before it's a full Type Two, and we have lots of enchantments. We have some good ones to get back. All right, so the premise of this deck is we're trying to fill up our graveyard with uh, auras. Uh, like Ethereal Armor, uh, unflinch, Unflinching Courage, and Alpha Authority. Now, we don't have any green mana in the deck, so we can't cast these, but that's where Bruna comes in. And what she does, if you didn't know, um, she's one of the legendary mythic angels from uh, Avacyn Restored, but she has seen just about zero play outside of the kitchen table and the commander. But she's a 5 5 flying vigilance, and whenever she attacks or blocks, you can attach any auras from play, graveyards, or your hand onto her. So what we're trying to do is fill up the graveyard, get a couple armors, Unflinching Courage and Alpha Authority, and then bring her either on Braille Rites her back or just cast her. She's only six mana, it's not unreasonable to cast her. So how we're doing that is we're playing Chronic Flooding. Uh, that says whenever a land enchant land, whenever it comes tapped, it's controller mills three. So we obviously put on our own land. And then we play breaking and entering. So most of the time we're just gonna break ourselves. <laughs> We're just going to put the top 8 cards of our deck into our graveyard. Um, and these are important because we can't just have like select mill, just like a couple mill. We need to get as much cards in the graveyard as possible just because we want to get all these um, auras. Because they come back with a Bruna if they're in the yard. Then we're playing Faithless Looting. And is it Charmed to discard out of our hand? So it's pretty sweet. You like, keep a hand with like one or two auras, which are useless. And you play a Faithless Looting and it's just like you drew two cards. Because you got two new ones and those go in the graveyard uh, safe for later. Um, also on Breaking... Uh, we can also cast Entering. It's a return a creature c card from a graveyard under your control against haste. So this gets around Ground Seal, which is nice, because Jun plays Ground Seal in their main deck. And it also gives it haste. So like if, they t if like a, a blue-white-red deck, like control taps out, we can just go Entering and kill them. Um, so we're playing on Braille Rise, Entering to get our thing back, mainly Entering. And I was playing Holy Mantle in the deck. That seems like a good aura to put on it, but it just was never relevant. Uh, usually Bruno was already big enough by herself, and like you get through any creatures and head trample. So, and also Alpha Authority makes it really hard to block. So, uh, <laughs> that this gives it hexproof and can be blocked by one uh, creature at a time. And then also have a couple of feeling and dreads because I didn't have any. And before, like I, my only interaction was is it charm, which I didn't want to interact with. I just wanted to discard cards, so I would lose to aggressive decks pretty quickly. So I'm trying to feel the dread and see how that works. Um, yeah, originally I built this deck with, uh, no red, so I have a better mana base, but the cards get stuck in my hand too easily, I didn't want to play Liliana of the, Ve Liliana of the Veil, uh, it's, you can't pitch cards fast enough, so I needed a red. So the mana base is crazy, it's 24 lands, we're playing 12 shocks and 12 buddy lands, we have a Glacial Fortress, Hollowed Fountain, a Watery Grave, Blood Crypt, Goblet Shrine, Isolate Chapel, Steam Vents, Sulphur Falls, Clifftop Retreat, Sacred Foundry. So most of the sources that come play untapped are blue and red, so we can uh, Faithless Looting, Chronic Flooding is a charm, also breaking very quickly. And white, less white and black, because we just need black for like one time for entering, if we, and also if we cast on Braille Rites, and that's it. And white is just for Braille Rites, and casting Bruna sometimes. So we'll go to the sideboard, we have one Cavern of Souls, so we can cast our uh, Bruna sometimes and resolve her. Playing to spell against the control deck, same with the cavern. A um, Mizium skin for like John. Now the decks with like lots of spot removal. Um, there's still a black ring control deck around that can kill it. Uh, we're playing Feeling of Dread to give bias more time against like red green and mono red and Naya. Uh, Detention Spirit can just get rid of problems like Death Rite Shaman. Uh, rest in Peace. Rest in Peace is pretty brutal against us, but we can co recover pretty quickly. We have so much mill. We can just play around and just get rid of the Rest in Peace and keep going. Uh, then we have Siren Sanity and Angel Serenity. This brings us more creatures. 
uh, helps us be better prepared for uh, slaughter games. Because if, like after game one, they can slaughter our uh, Bruna, and then we can't win because it's their only card in the main deck that uh, actually does damage. So Sire is also insane against control decks. Literally, it makes them insane. And then Angel is also just good against Jun. It's hard for them to, uh, if you just keep like Unbrailer Rising Angel, it's hard for them to do anything. So that's our sideboard. That's our deck. Um, I'm just hoping to have lots of fun with this deck. It looks really sweet. I've been having fun in the tournament practice room and uh, playing with other people. But today we're going against real competition. We'll see how it goes. All right. So um, we'll see you at the start of round one.